Shri Shrika here and today I will be showing a very simple example of uh, how to use gum loop to create a few automations. Um, so in this case what I'm looking at right now is one some of the most trending products on Alibaba and all I want to do is like for this particular uh, video I just want to understand more about like what is the category, uh, how much is the increase in search volume and the growth rate. So if you go down you actually see a bunch of other uh, products also like say uh, pedal go cart like the search volume is 4700 and the growth rate is 226 um, so the goal for me was essentially, was essentially to just like uh, figure out if we can build out this automation wherein we extract this information and then uh, write it to a google uh, sheet so in this case um, I have created a google sheet uh, with the category search volume and growth rate, uh, growth rate. as you can see it's currently empty um, so let's walk through how uh, the automation uh, would be done uh, I'm using Gumloop, which is essentially a, a AI automation framework. Uh, so to begin with, I'm going to uh, pick up the website scraper node where I will provide the initial link to start the scraping from. Um, in this case, I just like added the link. Um, and next after that, um, I have actually created or used the Ask AI node. And the prompt is very simple. Find me the category, the search uh, volume uh, increase and the growth rate, right? Um, so essentially, uh, once we are done with this, I'm going to have another extract data node, uh, which, will listen, uh, which will kind of like tell us uh, what are the fields that we ex want to extract from the text. In this case, I'm telling its category, um, its stuff type text, uh, just the description, which is like essentially uh, the name of the category. <coughs> Similarly, I'm doing it for like search volume uh, and growth rate. As you can see, once we have all the three uh, data items extracted, uh, so you can essentially uh, have as many number of uh, fields as you want but in this case given I only care about these three categories I have uh, these three fields uh, I'm going to add them but if you really wanted to like pick up a particular product uh, and when was it listed and so on and so forth you could essentially add that as well um, so let's see how actually this uh, trigger like workflow will look like uh, and then we can even look at the data so once I click on run um, it starts with first scraping the website in this case like it's the we have given the anchor node or the anchor link which is like a, a training products so once this is done I'll actually show how the output also will look like so once the subs uh, in this case the website scraping is done uh, it essentially extracted the uh, nodes uh, the extract data will essentially map it to the fields which will go through the uh, which will uh, be written to the Google Sheets writer so if you look at the Google Sheets writer you can essentially see that okay we have in indoor playground so and so volume growth rate uh, go karts pilates reformers uh, and so on and so forth so let's look at actually how the <coughs> workflow looks like uh, to begin with i'm going to start with the website scraper and the output uh, if you look at the view outputs in this case it's essentially like whatever is like scraped like a textual representation of what was shown on the page then uh, the next one essentially uh, will show us that we actually wanted uh, the category search volume and growth rate and it's essentially extracted that uh, after that I'm kind of like mapping it probably you could have done this both of them in, in one shot uh, I just wanted uh, to have it as two separate steps for more debugging um, in this case it's essentially an extracted item category growth category search volume it's kind of like mapping it to whatever format we want um, and then finally the uh, the Google Sheet writer will essentially write to uh, the Google Sheet. <coughs> what would be really cool um, is if we can have this workflow run on a daily basis uh, and today for example these are the products which are trending tomorrow it could be something else um, so having a, a inventory of all the products um, um, or the category of products and what is growing right now uh, could be really uh, important for someone who is uh, uh, working on uh, in the e-commerce domain um, so this is a simple workflow uh, do let me know if you have any more questions or if you would like any kind of like automation to be built uh, let me know i just uh, reply in the comment and then i can uh, provide the workflows thank you